like I was saying, Ariman is probably the easiest one, even though he does stone you, he has the lowest attack power, and he has the only one, he's the only one with a weakness, he's weak to wind, nobody else is weak to anything. Really? We're back to the glitch thing. Really? And random encounters. Oh, we've got a, a Scylla knockoff. This is Queen Zilla. So I guess it's not a knockoff as much as it is an upgrade. Either way, it has to die. Let's go for a regular attack. Hopefully these things aren't too difficult because, you know, who knows how many of these we're going to be fighting. I believe that they're the same... Actually, I think I went the wrong way in the in the world map. Or the, I don't know what to call it. What, you know, in the dungeon, I went the wrong way. Go, Aroga! Because I think there was supposed to be a a ribbon. Okay, let's go for another bio. You probably need to cure everybody. That should be enough to cure everybody. If not, oh damn! Got critical for mass. Damage and still not enough for the win. Queen Scylla is no no easy opponent apparently. Well, relatively easy I'll go with. <laughs> because down she goes. And for that battle we get ten thousand gil, thirty six hundred experience and a job of up for Sackman and a high potion, which is always appreciated, but probably not needed. I think I need to go up this way. Cause there should there should be a ribbon around here. Now, I know it's around here somewhere. Unfortunately, I don't remember this part, like, at all, where anything is. Okay, that was the wrong way. There's five paths here, which is not making things easy for me. Let's try going up this one here. Oh, this is the one that I went up before, isn't it? Okay, let's go one more to the left, and then we can go up there. Hopefully, this leads me in a general direction where I want to go. Okay, that leads me to the portal, which is not where I want to go, actually. So let's keep that in mind for when I actually do want to go through the portal. But first, I am in need of a ribbon. Ribbons are definitely where it's at right now. So I have to assume it's on this one. The purple doesn't really hide everything as much as it just becomes an annoyance for me. There we go! Inside, we do find our ribbon and a trap. Who are we up against this time? Another Zandy clone. Now that we do have that ribbon, oh, I need to equip it. That that would be good. Let's go ahead and put that instead of the Genji shield. I know it's down by two, but it protects against status ailments, which is always very important, especially since things are blinding and poisoning us right now. But now it's time to make our way back to the portal, which is down here and across. Yeah, we can see it from here. We could see it. Let's go up this way. And it should lead us to the portal, find another crystal, hopefully, find another monster. When we do well, it'll all work out. It'll all work out. Let's see what we've got here. It looks like the water kill. Crystal, you've done well to come this far, but this is as far as you go. The darkness will engulf the world and return it to the void. And everybody gets into their boxing positions because we've been boxing this whole time. So let's take on... What the fuck is that? This is Echidna. And you look nothing like an Echidna. I'm gonna, I'm gonna burn you. Uh, let's go ahead and use a holy on it now that I do know that you get a full heal. And then you go ahead and boost. So I, I have no problem uh, trying to use as much white magic as I can. It does change my, my strategy just a little bit. We do need a tornado. It always the, uh, Tornado always seems to miss. I don't know. Maybe that's just me. Damn, does it do a lot of uh, damage. Holy crap, 1,200. Oh, 2,800 damage on Holy is not... Holy is very disappointing in these early games, I must admit. Very disappointing. I always assume it's going to be awesome, and then I get to it, and it's just not what I expected. Uh, yeah, just one boost should be enough, I think, to, to get very close to max damage. You, I mean, you don't want to waste turns. I understand the, the want to get max damage, but yeah, there we go, max damage. But if he's doing over 5,000 damage in a regular hit, then I don't want to use the boost, you know what I mean? Uh, 
One of these times, yeah, one of these times it's gonna hit. And there, there, finally it did hit, and it did a ton of damage. I think it did 3,080 damage, which is very strange because it didn't show. Okay, let's go for another flare. You know what? Let's go for meteor. We haven't done meteor. We need to show that off, even though somebody else used to against us. Does he do over 5,000 damage on a regular hit? Oh, critical on able. Enough for a max damage. Awesome. Uh, once again, Echidna does have 99,999 HP, so it does it has a shit ton. That's, that's in layman's turn. It uses drain. <laughs> 90. Yeah, have fun. Have fun using drain for 90. That's ridiculous. Might as well have hit me. It looks like everybody is back to full health. Awesome. I should be using that. Ah, did I not see how much Meteor did? I'm going to go with Flare again. Uh, yeah, let's risk another Holy. I, I don't like doing it normally because I don't like um, don't like not having a rise if I absolutely need it. Damn, critical for 9200. We are getting quite a quite a bit of damage in here. Not nearly as tough as Arimon was because well, Arimon was stoning us, so we're doing quite a good number on Echidna. Hopefully, this will be enough to finish. No, tornado on everybody yeah it missed all but Sackman and then you didn't even hit Sackman if you I mean sometimes the AI you know sometimes the AI let's go for Kiraga on everybody you just go ahead and attack since apparently you do quite a bit of a damage without a boost at all is this gonna be enough for the win we're getting very close here Another 48, oh, 48, but it is enough for the win. Down goes Echidna, who, I don't know where she was hanging from, but she was hanging from something up there. We get, uh, yeah, 66,666 skill, 16,666 experience. Should be enough for at least a couple level ups. A job level up, another job level up, and a third job level up. But no, no regular level ups. That's a ton of ESP that we got. Oh, another wa Dark Warrior. Warrior of the Dark. One of the four who stopped the flood of light a thousand years ago. I have come to join you. The Cloud of Darkness has had also appeared when the light threatened to engulf the world a thousand years ago. We, the Warriors of the Dark, managed to stop it then, at great cost. A thousand years later, the balance between light and dark has inverted. Light had existed around a core of darkness, but darkness now revolves around a core of light. But the light has lost its brilliance. The overflowing darkness is threatening to extinguish the light that remains. A flood of darkness. Only you, warriors of the light, have the power to stop it. Hooray! I think. Really? Do I really have to walk? Oh. You're not... No, they're not going to give me warp. Gotta take the warp back to... Yeah, just gotta backtrack. This... Why do I have to backtrack? That's my only problem right now. Why do I have to backtrack? And why is this room glitchy for whatever reason? Oh, no random encounters. I got lucky there. I got lucky. No random encounters there. So we need to head to the next toughest boss, which would be over here in the northwest portal. Uh, this one, uh, this one has a slightly higher attack than the Echidna, but we're, we're dealing with it. We're dealing with the, the damage right now. You know, we're not having too hard of a time. We did get a full heal. I don't even need to check it. I'm just sure that I got it. Do we have new enemies now that we're here? We do. What is this? This is a Jormungand. I don't know what that's supposed to be. Let's go for bio. Might as well go for Aroga because it is technically flying. I think this is t still classed as flying. I think it's just really strong against all magic, if I remember right. Go, Bio! Deal your damage. 3,700. That is good damage. Come on. Oh, he gets his... Oh, don't. Don't you dare hit him again. How dare you? How dare you? 
You're not allowed to focus on my party like that. Another 1900. Alright, let's go for another bio. And now we need to heal. Let's go for... You know, let's go for Kiraja. Because, well, th there's no other spells at that level that I, that I would need to use, so there's no point in me saving them. This should be enough for the victory here? Possibly? No. Go, Bio! Finish him off. I don't want him to get a turn in. 3,900 down. He goes. I don't know if that was supposed to be the, the Norse. Whatever. We got 8,800 gil, 3,450 experience. Job level up for Abel. But I do need to heal. Now, I do remember seeing the treasure chest down here. So hopefully we can head... Yes, down here. No problem. But first, we've got another fight. With the same damn thing. I wonder what could be in this treasure chest here. We've got a ribbon. And it's also a trap. Is it going to be Zandy's clone again? It is. With that done, it is the last ribbon that we need. We will get another one. But it is definitely an upgrade for Sackman right now. Should have probably put him on instead of uh, to Abel before. But now everybody has ribbons. We are protected against all status ailments. Hooray! Could have used that against Arimon, actually. But we've made it through this I don't, I don't know what to call this, this small little mini dungeon here. And now we've made it to the third crystal. I believe this is the wind crystal. You cannot stop the flow of darkness. This will be your final resting place. Everybody get ready. It's time to take on. Oh, that's Cerberus. If, if ever there was a Cerberus, that's Cerberus. Thank you for confirming that for me. Let's go ahead and deal Flare again. I like Flare. Definitely like Flare. We'll go for a Holy because it's Cerberus and therefore it is undead. Surely. <laughs> no, I doubt it. I seriously doubt Cerberus is, is classed as undead. But we'll go for Holy. Maybe it's weak to Holy. Damn, it does quite a bit of damage. I will definitely need... And it gets three attacks. Damn you. Just because you have three heads doesn't mean you can get three attacks. Go Holy. 2,700 damage, not bad, not bad at all. Alright, nice. Let's go for another attack. Let's go for another flare. Let's go for a Kiraja, now that I'm pretty sure I... Well, I know that I don't need anything else on that row. 6,900 damage, damn. Alright, as long as you don't hit Novin again. Thank you. Should be fine. Everybody should get back to full health. Kiraj is much more powerful. Full. Max damage, I should say. <laughs> By Sackman. Alright, let's get everybody healed up again. And we can continue our onslaught. Go, Flare! Ah, I do love Flare. The animation is not, not that great, but it does quite a bit of damage, which I'm always appreciative of. Uh, let's go for Aroga. And you, what does your normal attack do, Zachman? We'll see if it is better. Damn, maybe with a shit ton of damage. Alright, as long as he doesn't hit the same guy three times, I should be good. Oh, got a critical, so it should still be max damage? It is, nice. Didn't even need a critical, or sorry, didn't even need to boost. I got a critical, which is always awesome. Another 6,000 in. Once again, Cerberus has just under 100,000 HP. I've, I don't know if I messed that up on Ariman. I might have said 10,000, but no, they've got just under 100,000 HP. Let's go for Kiraja. Hopefully, I get the, the, the cure off before he attacks. Or I could just finish him off. Good lord. Another critical just... Wow. Uh, magic does not get critical, so you know, don't expect that. Okay, come on, don't. Not able or Sackman, not able or Sackman, and that is good. I will take that. That is great. I probably should just cure, even if I don't need to cure, <laughs> the way that this is going. With Bloom getting the turn last. Full heals across the board. Awesome. Uh, let's go for another flare. Yeah, last one. I'm going to try Meteor again. 
We'll try it. I know it has a chance to miss. That's why I'm kind of hesitant to use it, but I like it. All right, let's just hope the Kiraja doesn't... Oh, well, he goes first, so no, the Kiraja is not wasted this time, this turn at all. And he spread it out, which is always nice. It's always nice when he spreads out attacks. If he focused, he could kill one of my guys every time. But down goes Cerberus. All those criticals finally did pay off, and down he goes. What do we get for that? For that battle, we get... Yeah, 66666 six, six, six skills, 16,666 uh, experience, a job level up. Job level up. Just the two? Really? Okay, well, I guess I'll take it. I was expecting more. I am a warrior of the dark, one of the four who stopped the flood of light a thousand years ago. I have come to join you. Thank you, we've heard that before. Light and darkness attracted to each other, yet keeping themselves at a safe distance. They coexist in a precarious balance. If light and darkness come into contact, they cancel each other out, and nothing is left where they meet. That is the void. The universe began with the void, and will return to the void. However, there was one force that stands against the ever-present threat of the void. It is what you call hope. In time, the void will consume the world, but now is not the time! As long as there is hope in the world of light, and here in the world of darkness, for as long as hope prevails, the void shall be kept at bay. And then he joins our party, and now we need to backtrack. I am keeping these in 